Hello and welcome to the channel. I trust that you are all well. A couple of months ago, when uh, I reached 500 uh, subscribers, I ran a competition. And uh, one of the winners, Steve, has given me some feedback because he received some of my flies. Now, this pretty little brook trout uh, was caught on one of those flies and he's asked me to show the tying of that particular fly. And it was an emerger. Now, emergers come in normally two versions. One that is just emerging out of the water, which will have some of its body hanging in the water. And that's when you may use something like a curved hook. And the other style, is those that have just emerged. And in both instances, they have four fundamental parts. They have a shuck, they have a body, they have wings, and they have legs. Now the legs can be tied in hackle or hare's ear, antron, whatever you want. The body, likewise, can be anything that you want. It can be quill, it can be silk, it can be antron, it can be hair's ear. Shuck, the same. It might be CDC, it might be ostrich hurl, it might be silk, raffia. There's all sorts of things you, that you can use. Now today's version uh, is a fly that I haven't tied on video before and uh, it is a version where the fly has just emerged. So I'll get straight into the time and I'm going to be using some Camel 10 thread and this is a size 16 dry hook in the, uh, in the vise. Now I'm going to start the tying a couple of mil behind the eye because there's going to be quite a lot going on at the front end when we complete this fly. Just trim up the excess. Now I have here three uh, natural brown CDC feathers, which I've married up. And what I'm going to do is just pull back these fibers for the moment and snip out the tips. Which I've done. And now I'm going to pull these fibres forward. And we're going to tie those in facing the front. And we're going to draw them back until we have got to the stalk. And there it is. Just pull that back on top. tie it down. And I'm going to put one wrap in front and trim up the butts like so. And we will be coming back to the front of course so don't worry about the CDC for the moment and wind back down the shank. Um, the shuck I'm going to use basically what I've just cut off uh, which is some CDC fibers and I'm just going to pull some of those off and we're going to tie those in. so and we'll trim up these butts and just create a bit of tidiness here try and level out the body like so and the shark can be really as long as you want but uh, 
Let's have it like that. Right, now on this occasion, uh, for the body, I'm going to use some olive quill. Uh, as you know, I dye in my own quills, but of course you can get them from uh, various suppliers already dyed and in packets, which is fine. Right, so I'm just going to tie that in. And back up towards the thorax area. Right now, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue uh, on the top there to hold that in place. Not too much, just a dab. I'm going to wind that on. Touching turns. Now, if you want to do this with heckle pliers, you can do. I prefer to use my fingers. Okay, you may say it's a little bit more fiddly with fingers, but as I've said before, the pressure that the quill is put under with hackle pliers can sometimes break the quill. Right, so I'm just going to tie that off. Like so. And trim up the excess. Just tidy up there. Right now I am going to put a thin coat, a very thin coat of UV on there, just to protect it. Uh, you don't want anything too heavy because that will just add weight to the fly and we don't really want that. So just a very thin coat, just a smear, just to protect it. There we go. And UV it. Right, now we come to the front end. So here I'm going to pull back the wing, just tie it down, like so. I'm gonna try and separate this as evenly as I can. To create two wings. There we go, and for the legs, I'm going to use another CDC feather. And if I could find the feather that I pulled out just now, that would be really helpful. But as I can't, I'll pull out another one. Right, I'll just uh, get rid of some of this fluff at the base, like so and pull back these fibres. And we're going to tie this in behind the wing. Like so. And trim up the excess. Put on one wind behind the wing. And that sometimes happens where it is pulled out. So I'll tie it in again. Not a problem. Take your time. There. See how we get on this time. I use my hackle pliers for this. Right, one wind behind. Like so, and two wounds 
in front. Trying not to squash the, the wing too much, like so, and tie it off. And at the front and snip off the excess and bind it down. Just try a little bit of excess there. Right now I am going to put a, a sighter on the front of here and uh, I'm going to use some orange floss so I'll just pull off uh, I know about six inches 15 centimeters something of that nature double it over put it on the front tie it in Pull back the other one, tie that down, like so. Now we're going to tie off the fly. I'm going to put a little bit of glue onto the thread. And tie it off. and trim up the thread. And as far as the cider is concerned, you can have that as long as you want, uh, depending on how good your eyes are. Uh, this hackle, obviously, or the fibre of the CDC, obviously imitates the legs. Now, if you want to have them a little bit shorter, that's fine. You can trim them up like so. But it's all about the image of legs and the movement. Now I'm just going to trim up the wing just a little bit. Like so. There's the shunk. And that's the finished fly. Nothing very complicated, but uh, as I said, it's known to be uh, a catcher of trout, uh, as I've shown you with the photograph. And at the front, it doesn't have to be neat because it has just emerged. It's got wings and legs going everywhere. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please do subscribe uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for viewing. Bye.